should have known. Now I remember where I've seen these plates before. You ugly, sneaky, ham-handed, pit-nosed, fat-footed mother worm! Release me, or I will tell the queen! Release me now, mortal! Release me now, or you will feel the awful, terrible, irresistible might of the fairy magic! I will rot your teeth from your head, take your eyes from their sockets, fill your mouth with dung and your ears with worms! Release me, or I will tell the queen! Release or I will tell the queen. Release me, or I will tell the queen. Fill your mouth with dung and your ears with worms. Date with a demon was a headliner for the arcane when it came out the following Monday, and Susan came by my hospital room to bring me a copy and to talk to me about it. She seemed greatly amused by the cast that held my hips immobilized until the docs could be sure that there wasn't too much fracturing. The x-ray machine kept fouling up whenever they tried to use it on me, for some reason, and commented that it was a pity I wasn't more mobile. I used the sympathy factor to badger another date out of her, and she didn't seem to mind too much. That time, we were not interrupted by a demon, and I didn't need any of Bob's love potions or advice. Thank you very much. Mac got his Trans Am back. I got the Blue Beetle back. That didn't seem exactly equitable, but at least the Beetle still runs. Most of the time. I made sure to send pizza out to Toot Toot and his fairy buddies every night for a week. And once a week ever since. I'm pretty sure the kid from Pizza Express thought I was a loony, having him drop off pizza by the roadside. Heck with him. I make good on my promises. Mister got a little short-changed on the whole deal, but it was well beneath his dignity to notice such things. And me? What did I get out of it? I'm not really sure. I escaped from something that had been following me for a long time. I'm just not sure what. I'm not sure who was more certain that I was a walking antichrist waiting to happen. The conservative branch of the White Council? The men like Morgan? Or me? For them, at least, the question has been partly laid to rest. For myself, though, I'm not so sure. The power is there. The temptation is there. That's just the way it's going to be. I can live with that. The world is getting weirder, darker every single day. Things are spinning around faster and faster and threatening to go completely awry. Falcons and falconers. The center cannot hold. But in my corner of the country, I'm trying to nail things down. I don't want to live in Victor's jungle even if it did eventually devour him. I don't want to live in a world where the strong rule and the weak cower. I'd rather make a place where things are a little quieter, where trolls stay the hell under their bridges, and where elves don't come swooping out to snatch children from their cradles, where vampires respect the limits, and where the fairies mind their P's and Q's. My name is Harry Blackstone Copperfield Dresden. Conjure by it at your own risk. When things get strange, when what goes bump in the night flicks on the lights, when no one else can help you, give me a call. I'm in the book. This me <coughs> you mortals can think about <coughs> 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 <coughs>
<laughs> but it was well beneath his dignity. I escaped from being something that had been. I was walking. I believe you.